Because right now things are terrible. Dr. Degbala a few days ago came to record a video for me on a Saturday and as I, as I saw him to his car, he stopped and looked at me and he said, Pastor Francis, I hope that Tinubu has enough sense to rescue this country. He says, because if he doesn't, we are in trouble. So I want you to listen to this. Then after you watch it, I want to ask you if it has fit into any of your former prayer points. I just told them to get the video ready. Go ahead. They're not ready. no audio. Countries made two different decisions that changed the course of their lives. One country confusing. is very close to us here. It's called I'm told that the system is done. Don't know what that means. How many minutes do they need to restart? You see, there's a, there's a, there's a train of thought that has been developed here. I don't want to break my... But l let, me, let me see if I can... I'm not going to... I want you to watch the video because it's important that you do. Uh, it's a video where he begins to explain to you and I how the revenues of this country is shared. He starts off by telling us what our revenue was 20 years ago. We were earning about 500 billion. 
Today we're earning about 250 billion and we have more people in the population. As a matter of fact, uh, Soludo tells, tells us that Nigeria at the moment budget is less than that of Kenya. Nigeria's budget is about 30 billion dollars, yet Kenya is about 37 billion and they have only 50 million people. There's a gentleman called uh, Ephosa Ojoma who wrote a book with Clay Christensen and he has a whole chapter where they sit down and they tell you, this is what they say. I'm still waiting for them to get rid of this is what they say. This is what he says. He says, how much money do you think the Nigerian government spends on its citizens every year? And he puts a chart up and then he asks you, how, many, how much money do you think the mighty United States government spends on its citizens? It's a very simple ca calculation. That 250 billion divided by 250 million people. That will tell you exactly how much money. But that was when it was 250 billion. Then it was 500. Now it's 250. So he now begins to explain that the Nigerian government spends an average of one to 2,000 naira a year on every citizen. Are you here? Are you here? And you know that they steal half of that. Come on. Come on. He says, then how much do you think the American government spends? The average American government spends between eight to $9,000 per person in the United States. Then it says the Canadian government does about seven or eight thousand. The Swedish government does about five or six thousand. Even the Arab countries do about four to five thousand dollars per person per country. And this is what he says. He says, how can you expect a government that has only about a thousand dollars to, sorry, less than a thousand dollars to spend on you, do the things that an American government will do? So when you keep praying that God let the government do this, how many of you know it's not going to work because they don't have the resources? There are wives here who are expecting their husbands. Sorry, they're the ones who delayed it. I'm talking about your husband now. There are wives here who expect their husbands to provide for the house. Yet they know exactly how much their husbands earn. There's a woman here who's earning maybe half a million, maybe three quarters of a million or, 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 or 250,000 every month. And her husband is earning 100,000. And yet she still in her mind puts an expectation that the husband is supposed to do this. Many years ago, I was in, I was in, I was in Lagos. I was told to make a pulpit for a, for a, for a redeemed Indian church in Lagos in Apapa. It's a church run by Indians, but it's a redeemed Christian church of, church of God. So after making the pulpit, they started to take me out for dinner. And as they took me out for dinner, these Indian people, they took me for dinner after I delivered the pulpit and did everything. And they began to tell me how they work. They said they work in Nigeria, these Indian men. They said, guess what? They said their entire salary in Nigeria, immediately it arrives in their bank account. They ship it to their wives. It is their wives that give them allowances from their own salary. They said anything they earn outside their salary, they can keep. But they've learned that discipline.